My friend, it's great speaking with you, man. Oh, look, as we're talking, where are you right now? Because uh, as we speak 24 hours from now, you're going to be performing at Chevy Music Presents Indie Fridays, Young Dundas Square. Well, it sounds like it's going to be one of the best dance parties ever because we've got amazing DJs, including yourself. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, I'm actually sitting in the kitchen of my farm right now, just outside of Ottawa. And uh, I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am to, to be playing uh, the stage again. I just love that that stage and where it is and the vibe of the city. And, uh, you know, especially in this capacity where I'm able to DJ again, which is a lot of fun. Um, you know, that's something that uh, while, while, while being in a tribe called Red, I didn't really get to, to be able to DJ like this um, often. Um, where there's a difference between like performing and DJing. I don't know if... Uh, if I need to explain that, but it's, uh, yeah, it, it, I can't wait to play this. Yeah, actually, you, you know what? You actually just went into my next question because what is the difference between you as a DJ compared to a tribe called Red and the performances we see with that? Right. With a tribe called Red, um, we made that music and we uh, had a set set up. You know what I mean? Like we would have, uh, uh, we know exactly what song we were playing, when we were going to play it. And it was a performance. It was uh, synced up with uh, videos and whatnot. And so with DJ, you know, I get to, to play familiar songs, which are, aren't as, as uh, uh, you know, like food. You play, you, 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 you play out food that's uh, uh, well known, that people you know will like. And then you start getting a little more dangerous and you get out there a little more and then you get to feel out the vibe. It's a lot of fun um, interacting with the crowd in that way as opposed to having like a, a, a set performance, you know? You know, when it comes to A Tribe Called Red, uh, I've been blessed enough to, to have interviewed you guys for many years. I've been in the audience. I've been there at some of your greatest triumphs, too, of course, winning the uh, Juno Award. Um, I've been when you yourself have spoken to uh, people because you're a motivational speaker also. Do you realize the capacity now in what you and the band have in in um, basically role models and the way you guys are now. Um, uh, 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 I look back on my career uh, in a tribe called Red, and you know, continue to see what they're doing and whatnot, and it's it's powerful. And I have a very important of that group and and what was going on and how important it is for them to keep going on with it. I just realized that I had uh, a gift in a way of speaking that I didn't know that I had before. And to be perfectly honest, like I was terrified. Performing uh, now with speaking, it's even scarier. But when I was performing, I was scared, which is why I used to wear uh, a mask, right? I used to hide my face because I was honestly like fear of, of, of being on stage. But, but now with talking, it's a little more... Um, it, it's more in depth where I have a, a, a stronger contact with uh, with the audience and where I can get ideas across that I feel are uh, uh, a little more urgent and I'm able to get them across in a, a, a more urgent way than pretending to be happy on stage for an hour, if that makes sense. It does make sense because I was going to ask you, why was it important for you to be on your own? Yeah, um, I do this at the time, but I didn't have the time or the emotional capacity to go on the specific journey that I've been on since we moved back already with language reclamation and culture reclamation. Um, it's first that I had to leave a group like a tribe called Red to be able to reclaim my, my language and my culture, but I just didn't have the emotional capacity at the time while I was on the road. And um, I got a naming ceremony, and after I got my name, uh, I don't know what happened. It really lit a fire under me to start uh, take on language classes and whatnot. So uh, language for me, is a, it, it's taken a very, very important uh, uh, place in my life. And it's kind of my new project, my new like where where all my focus and work seems to be going into, and all my other projects, uh, even music. I'm I'm starting to um, get shows together where my in my performances, I want to have more language involved, and, and when I speak, I'm going to introduce myself in language and, and stuff like that, just so people hear it. It's, it's um, you know, we've spoken on on these lands for thousands and thousands and thousands of years, and you know. If you're from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, those are three indigenous words, and most people don't know what those words mean or even what language they're in.
Right. And that's it's extremely important because this is the time now that we hold on to our heritage. Absolutely, and this is this is time to acknowledge this heritage. But through this language, I'm understanding that we have a far more depth understanding, scientifically, um, historically, on on these lands because of uh, how long we've been here. Our sciences and, and uh, uh, observations have been going on for thousands and thousands and thousands of years compared to the hundreds, hundreds, a few hundred years of colonial uh, uh, scientific observation, right? And this language is tied to that. So uh, the way I describe it is I feel like I woke up from the matrix and got my invite to Hogwarts at the same time. I love this, man. I absolutely Yes, Sorry. Sorry. I keep interrupting you, and I apologize, man. I absolutely love what you're doing, my friend. No, it's all good. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's been um, it's been really important in in a whole other way uh, with my speaking and, and my uh, you know even my speaking. It's 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 amazing where I'm in a position now where I'm able to pick up a, a you know really fun gig, you know, playing playing. Uh, um, Young and Dundas on a Friday and and have a good time and, and doing it and and you know that that helps me also in, in learning my language and being able to to pay the bills so that I can go back home which is my community's in North Bay and uh, in Michigan. so it's like a four hour drive and uh, I try to make it once a week for language class and um, yeah so it's great it's been great it's been great I've been living uh, I've been living in, in in a good way and it feels good. Well, look, man. I know you're gonna bring. I'm gonna. I know you're gonna bring the beat. You're gonna bring the love. You're gonna bring the heart to this. It's gonna be amazing. So, for folks who want to follow you on whatever you're doing, where do we go to follow you? Um, at DJ NDN, NDN on uh, Instagram, and on uh, 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 Twitter. So I'm putting up language stuff too on, on all of those platforms, which is a lot of really good reception so it's been, uh, it's been fun fantastic look my friend I'm going to see you tomorrow I get to introduce you it's going to be a blast cannot wait to catch up with you like I said man this is definitely going to be a party awesome can't wait thanks for talking to you soon. Uh, you got it my friend take care bye 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 now.